Okay, this is going to be a pretty quick video. I want to talk about the good and the bad of the Apple Pencil in 2023. I'm specifically saying in 2023 because one, this is 2023, and two, because something may change in the future. I don't know. But yeah, the Apple Pencil. Let's start with good. You know, good thing. You have your iPad. You can actually take notes, no problem. Screenshots, no problem. Draw, all that stuff. Also, when I am using stuff like, um, when I'm using different apps such as to edit video on my iPad. I really, really enjoy being able to just swipe using the Apple Pencil and whatnot. And then, you know, we put it on and it starts charging the Apple Pencil just like that. And no must, no fuss, no need to worry about plugging your Apple Pencil into a wall or any charging port or anything. It sticks on it via a powerful magnet as well. And those are all the pros, okay? Now, let's talk about the cons, okay? Because there are... A few cons, believe it or not. The first con, which is probably most people would consider the biggest con, the price. This is an Apple Pencil Gen 2. I bought it for a hundred twenty something dollars, closer to a hundred thirty after tax. So that's how much it will cost you new. You might be able to find a used version a bit cheaper and whatnot, but if you want an authentic, authentic Apple Pencil, you will have to pay full price for it. I'll leave a link in the description below to the Apple Pencil if you would like to purchase it. But yeah, back to the cons. Another con, which is also a big con in a way, is that like my iPhone 14 Pro, this is the latest iPhone as I'm making this video. So, the does not support the Apple Pencil. So, you'll have to have an iPad in order to do the Apple Pencil. And the older, older iPad don't actually even support the Apple Pencil Gen 2. But the newer iPad do. So any iPad, you know, from this year, last year, you know, M1, whatnot, should be fine. If the iPads before that don't really. Now, with that said, you can actually, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got a little engraving in the Apple Pencil because I bought this directly from Apple, so I could get engraved because there was no sale on Amazon at the time. So I was like, you know what? I may as well get it engraved with something. But with that said, if you get engraved, that kind of makes the value go down if you want to sell it in the future. But Apple Pencil is technically tech, and tech as, you know, devalue, devalues over time. There's no point in actually buying tech if you plan on selling it in the future because only like people who like collecting antiques and stuff would probably 
buy it and whatnot. But yeah, let me know your experiences with the Apple Pencil. Those are the pros and cons from my point of view. If I missed any cons or missed any pros, definitely feel free to let me know. Do I regret getting the Apple Pencil? Surprisingly, I do not. You'd think I would, but I don't. I actually got a lot of use out of it. A hundred dollars worth of use? Not entirely sure, but I did get some good use out of it. And it's easy for me on days I don't use it. It's easy for me to say something like, oh, it was a waste of money. But collectively, I think it actually would worth it. But yeah, I'd like to know your thoughts and opinions. Comment section below. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the feature. Later.